Hello, welcome back to Broadside Gaming with me, Zug, and uh, we've had a couple of interesting updates since yesterday's patch 15. So there are a couple of veteran talents that don't work. So uh, I've, we've redone the builds, basically, because um, they really didn't work. So exhilarating takedown. It says it replenishes toughness and gains 10% toughness damage reduction and stacks three times. Uh, apparently the bug, instead of buffing you of this, it debuffs you with it. So you're losing 30% toughness reduction and losing toughness. And the internal cooldown for Shock Trooper is something around 3 seconds to 4 seconds. Which is ludicrous. So... We're redoing the tree. So what we're doing, we've got a couple of builds that I've been trying out. We've got shotguns, we've got auto guns, we've got las guns. So let's have a look. This is going to be a comprehensive guide looking over a few different builds. So, uh, you know, just pause the video where you need to and you can have a look. This is generally what I run as standard when I'm just playing the um, veteran on my own. Uh, we're using the Cadia Mark IV Assault Chainsword with Flak and Maniac with Shred and Wrath. And we're using the Recon Laz Gun. I do have several of these made at this point, and I'm trying to figure out which is the best to run with. So you've got one with Unyielding. Uh, the, you don't want the po uh, Groaners or Poxwalkers on it. That was just what got locked onto it. So I'd say Unyielding and possibly Crit with Headhunting and Infernus. The Blessings are always going to be the same. It's always going to be Headhunter and Infernus on the Recon Laz Gun. It's just the perks we are messing around with. I have the Mark 7A with Crit and Stamina. We don't want Stamina, of course. But mostly I think you'd want Crit and Maniac or Crit and Unyielding. And we're just going through each of these, giving them a try out, see what's going on. So far, there's not much in them. Um, generally, Carapace and Crit is alright, or Maniac, Carapace, or Unyielding and Crit. They all seem to work quite well, and they're very close together, so don't worry yourselves too much if you can't get a God Roll, because they are incredibly rare. Like, even with this supposed God Roll, it's still not great. The perks are wrong on it, so I just don't worry about it too much. But you can use lots of other guns with this build. So let's have a look at the build itself and we'll talk some more about guns towards the end. So we're taking out long shot and exhilarating takedown because exhilarating takedown is broken and long shot is just not worth taking on its own. Deal up to 20% base range damage bonus and it's reduced the closer you are to the target. So instead of going for these two points here, because we were going this way and down, we've just gone straight through the middle. We've grabbed uh, precision strikes for the 30% uh, weak spot damage which works very well with most guns most guns are dependent on weak spot hit so for example headhunter not so much on the hellbore but on the uh, Vrax Mark 3 critical weak spot damage and then critical quite chance on weak spot hit until your next crit so very much aim for the weak spots So we're coming down here, going through straight through the middle because this is now pointless and just this isn't great. So through the middle into crack grenade, you can take the shredder grenade if you want. You just change out these points and go that way. And in through fire team, down through demolition stockpile, picking up duty and honor. As I said, over here for precision strikes, over on the right here, we're taking the melee damage boost. Uh, reposicity and into onslaught so we're getting that um, brittleness debuff back again which is good down the middle here the only annoying thing of the talent shake up we are losing superiority complex but it really isn't worth going down into this part of the tree just to pick that up we're getting tactical awareness iron will bring it down rending strikes and we're going into focus target and picking up both the buffs if you really want to, you can get rid of Precision Strikes to pick up the increased stack amount to 8. The increased stacks is very, very good. And like I said in the videos yesterday, you don't have to wait for all 8 stacks to refresh it. You can just use the first 8 that you start with, 
and then just keep refreshing it by targeting and killing that target over and over again. You don't have to wait for it to build back up. So this is a general catch-all build. You can use basically any gun you want of this. I would highly recommend uh, the Recon Laz gun, any variant really. The Hellbore Laz gun, uh, the Agrippina Mark I is a very good weapon. Uh, one of our very helpful viewers today is shouted out saying the Columnus Mark V is a very good weapon. Uh, the stability on it is a bit sketchy. I'll actually show that to you now. Uh, it's not quite as hip fiery as some of the other guns. It does jump around a little bit, but you have a very large amount of ammo in it. It does tend to dance slightly, so those heads, those uh, weak spot strikes, going to be slightly more difficult. But it does make up for that in just sheer damage. I'll just pop that back on, and you can run basically whatever you want in this. I'm trying out different builds for it at the moment, so I don't have a perfect selection for you. But it's a pretty decent gun. Uh, you can even run the plasma gun of this, it, they all work pretty well. So let's have a look at the other ways to build this. If you prefer the left side of the tree with execution stance going down into marksman's focus, again we're going through the middle because the left and right sides are basically pointless. Close order drill into confirmed kill, down into the crack grenade, picking up grenade tinkerer, then over to the left for range damage, catch a breath, Survivalist for that ammo consumption and conservation kill zone. But it's up to you if you want to take up kill zone or opening salvo. I find kill zone gets you a bit more bang for your buck, really, as it's only the first 10%. And if you're using a very high speed weapon, you're not going to get much out of that. Into executioner stance, most of these are pretty useless. Coming along over here to the right, we're picking up. Onslaught again. Sorry. As at this point, Onslaught is um, almost an auto take for the amount of damage it gives you. Precision Strikes into Deadshot. You can dump out Deadshot if you really want to, but it is pretty useful. Down into Shock Trooper. It's not great, but it does help out. Again, if you're not using a LAS weapon, you can get rid of Shock Trooper and take Determined, but. Yeah. They're all right. And into always prepared, down into superiority complex, marksman. But then marksman's focus. Sorry, it's incredibly late here again. And we're grabbing these two side talents for increased rending and for toughness replenishment on each stack. I'm not a massive fan of marksman's focus. I don't think they've implemented it very well, to be honest. And I wouldn't be surprised if in the next month or two if this sees another redesign. And then we have another version of the voice of command this one's basically losing out on these two nodes here and they're being thrown into increased focused fire and where else and up here just to grab this critical strike node so if you wanted to dump out ranged boost here and precision strikes you could take the critical chance and the extra stacks of focused fire now, if you wanted a more aggressive but hybrid build, again, we start off in the middle at the top. Crack grenade, or you can go down to shredder grenade. Either way is fine. We're picking up the crit node over here, down into demolition stockpile, voice of command, GT and honor. Be aware, GT and honor has been nerfed from 100 down to 50. Into precision strikes. And we're going to go all the way down here on the right, taking Reposicity, Onslaught, into Exploit Weakness, Trench Fighter Drill, Close Quarter Kill Zone, and we're taking all of the Weapon Specialists, as this allows you some really fun hybrid gameplay, switching between melee and ranged. With this build, I would say it suits more of an auto gun or a shotgun, as here you can see I've got the Mark Seven Agrippina. With Flak, Maniac, No Respite, and Full Bore. 
this is a pretty damn decent roll for it. And it does give you some nice flexibility in your gameplay. But you can use any weapon you want with this. You can use a braced auto gun. A shredder auto pistol, a plasma gun, anything really. You're not really pigeonholed into only one type of gun. For the veteran these days, they're all pretty good. I do enjoy the shotgun though, but you will find it is slightly lacking compared to some of the faster firing weapons. As for curios, uh, I've got one with maximum health, combat ability generation, more max health and toughness regeneration speed. And then we're running two with... That should be two with toughness, sorry. I must not have switched that out, there we go. So one with uh, two with toughness on, combat ability regeneration, toughness regeneration speed and toughness or max health, it doesn't really matter. And then one just max health with toughness generation, more toughness and toughness ability regeneration. You really want to be stacking as much toughness as you can get, but you also want one with some health on it if you can. You can take a wound and drop one of the toughness uh, curios if you want to, but I would try to get out of using the wound curios as quickly as you can, as they're a little bit of a crutch and they don't help as much as you think they do. But yeah, mostly don't take exhilarating takedown, and Shock Trooper is very, very broken still. So try to keep away from these two nodes if you can. Uh, the first build here that I showed you is generally my favourite to run. But of course you can get rid of these two nodes here and put them in whatever you want. Okay, oh, sorry, I can't stop bloody yawning. Um, now, Twin Blast. I was testing this out last night. And even though it has been jumped up from 5% to 20 it's it still will only proc. Well, it's 20%, so once or twice out of every 10 throws. And with the amount of grenades, you can possibly have three if you manage to go into the crit boost here and the extra grenade and put another point into field imp uh, improvisation to just get more grenades and down here with demolition team but that is a lot of points to sink into the possibility of being able to throw two grenades quite consistently i don't think it's worth it to be honest but if you wanted to you want to take these two this one and this one and that will give you the best chance to get the most out of your grenades I primarily uh, just use them for breaking uh, crusher hordes or mauler hordes. Other than that, uh, that your guns will do most of the work for you. If it's one or two crushers, even the recon las gun with headhunter and furnace can burn them down pretty easily if you aim for the neck. But yeah, I just want to update everyone with uh, some of the changes to the talent. So I hope this has helped. This has been more of a uh, comprehensive guide than sort of the one-offs I usually do. But I don't like leaving wrong information floating around out there for too long. So I hope this has helped, folks. And if it has, please, you know, like, subscribe, hit that little bell for notification. It really does help us out. And feel free to check out the members area where we have been updating it with new emojis and all sorts of prizes and stuff as we go on. So thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you again next time. Take it easy.